Hey guys, welcome to DIY Refashions with Ayana, and as always to my subscribers, welcome back guys. On this channel, I share tips and tricks with you to help you execute the DIY creations I share. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In today's video, I want to share with you guys how I refashioned this high-waisted corduroy pants into this cute detachable dungaree with a matching barrette. Let's get into it. First thing I did was cut to create the shorts and created my hem. I then cut one of the pant legs open to make the dungaree flap and straps. I used the pant leg to measure the length that I needed for the flap and how wide I needed the flap. Because it's going to be detachable, I decided to stitch the top of the straps to the top of the flap and hand stitch buttons to give it that nice kind of dungaree look. I then lined up the dungaree flap to the pants waist to identify where they would be attaching and used snaps to make them detachable. Here's a tip when you're attaching your snaps. Place the flat piece of the snap onto the pants waist so that when you wear it as a shorts, it doesn't poke out onto your skin.
So just go ahead with your needle and thread and attach all your snaps into place, making your dungaree a detachable one. Before creating the barrette pattern, you want to take one measurement and that's your head circumference. Simply take your tape measure, line it up with your hairline and just take that tape measure around your head. Once you have that measurement, divide it by 6.28 and you will get your radius measurement. You're going to need it later down in the pattern making. For the pattern, I used a sheet of sketch paper and created a circle with a diameter of 10 inches. Now other DIYs use 12 inches and I'm guessing it's because it's mainly for adults. But because this is for my daughter, I decided to use 10 inches. I marked that off and then marked the midpoint of it, which is 5 inches. I then placed my measuring tape at the 5 inch mark and pivoted the tape all the way around, marking off the 5 inches every pivot. Once I had my circle, I went ahead and cut it out. Now, <laughs> I thought I was recording when I did the last step for the pattern, so as I didn't, let me show you what I did. I took the circle I cut out, folded it in half, then folded it in half again to get the cone shape you're seeing. I then took my measuring tape, placed it at the tip of the cone and pivoted the tape measurer, marking out the 3.8 inch radius I got earlier. Once I marked from one edge to the next, I took my paper scissors and cut along the markings I made and I had my pattern. For the barrette, I used the other pant leg and the remains from the first piece to get all pieces needed to construct it. The first piece would be the whole circle, so I pinned the pattern into place and cut it out. The next pattern requires two pieces, so I folded the pant leg in half, pinned the pattern in place and marked out the inner circle and then started cutting. Before putting the pieces together, I decided to add the loop at the top of the hat. I folded my circle in half twice to get the cone shape and marked the midpoint. Once I had it, I made a snip big enough to fit the raw edges of the loop piece and pinned it into place to stitch.
I first took my whole circle along with one of the two donut pieces and with right side facing right side, I clipped my pieces together and took it to my machine and ran my stitch. I then turned what I had right side out, took the other donut piece and with right side facing right side, I clipped it in place and ran my stitch. For the last step, I turned it wrong side out and took the edge of the piece I just attached and clipped it to the raw edges of the very first stitch I made and ran a stitch and that's it for the barrette. Now, after creating the barrette and having my daughter try it on, I realized that I needed to make this barrette adjustable. Because once her hair was out, the barrette fit nicely. But once her hair was slicked back into a bun or a ponytail, the barrette got loose. So making it adjustable was necessary. I simply snipped a hole to get access to the casing that already existed, created a string and turned it into an adjustable barrette. I hope you guys found this video helpful and feel free to comment and let me know below and until next time guys, deuces!